hello gorgeous welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be making this gorgeous gorgeous ashoki headband that i have right here on the screen i'm going to be showing you all how i made the headband design as well as how i went about beading the headband this tutorial is very detailed so i suggest you get rid of any form of distraction get your earphones if you have to and pay close attention to everything i'm going to be sharing in this video if you do enjoy the video after watching please don't forget to hit the like button or you could as well just go ahead and hit the like button right now that way i know that you guys got value from watching and it also just says as a form of feedback for me in order to bring you more useful tutorials if you're yet to subscribe to this channel now will be a good time to hit the subscribe button down below okay don't forget to also turn on your post notification which is that bell button right beside the subscribe button that way you'll be the first person to know every single time i post a new tutorial also don't forget to share with your friends and family people that you know would enjoy watching something like this okay sharing is caring so please be sure to hit the share button and share with your friends finally please don't forget to leave me questions suggestions and just comments in the comment section all right guys let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video let's go Alright friends, so these are the items that we'll be needing for this particular tutorial. You need your headband, of course I'm working with a 2 inch plastic headband. You need your fabric of choice, I'm working with Ashoke. You'd also need some beads, these are crystal beads in size 4 and size 6. If you're new and you're yet to see my tutorial on how to know your beads and the sizes, I'm going to link the tutorial on the screen, feel free to check that out right after watching this video. I'm also going to be using some sand beads, some broken glass beads, I'm also going to be needing my tape roll of course for taking measurements and my tailoring chalk for marking measurements the next thing we are going to do now is to work on wrapping our headbands these are the pieces of fabric that i'm going to be using to wrap the headband if you are yet to see the tutorial i shared on how to wrap a headband i'm going to link it on the screen for you these are the two pieces of ashoke that i'm going to be joining together one piece is about 50 inches long by the regular length of the ashoke and i also went ahead to extend the width of the ashoke by adding a three inch with ashoke that is also 50 inches long okay i have a six inches by 50 inches ashoke then a three inches by 50 inches ashoke i joined the two together folded it to create one single long piece of fabric i hope we all understand if we don't please let me know in the comment section and i'll try to explain in the comments okay all right so after joining my ashoke together which is which was that eventually about 8.5 inches by 50 inches i went ahead to just turn it inside out and that's what i used that my long screwdriver to just achieve okay feel free to turn your fabric inside out however you prefer okay different people have different techniques when it comes to things like this okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to just pull out my fabric and try to ensure that the edges are properly you know laid out right you don't want any part of your ashoke to be trapped inside so you use your fingers to just pull it apart and then separate it right from the bottom up onto the top i'm going to move through that process really really quickly so i don't bore you guys so you just see the way i'm opening up the ashoke basically i'm pulling out the edges so that everything looks nice and smooth Right after pulling out the edges effectively and everything looked smooth, the next thing I did was to take my fabric to my ironing board and I gave the fabric a good press so that the end result of my work looks absolutely stunning. This is my ashoke after ironing and now it's time for me to just create some running stitches on the fabric. Remember to also close up the open edge of your ashoke, okay? Remember that we turned the fabric inside out. So those openings that we use to turn the fabric inside out, exactly, we need to close them up. So you just need to just fold it in and then sew it up, okay? I've done something similar to this with the Michelle 
um, 2.0 and 3.0 design. If you're yet to see that tutorial, I'm going to try and link it in the description bar. Okay, feel free to check out the part one, part two, and part three of this Michelle headband design. So you basically are up to speed with everything that I'm doing in this video. This is not really the meat and potatoes of everything I'm trying to share in this particular video. This video is more of a beading pattern video because I've gotten a lot of questions from us asking me to show how I achieve some of my beading designs on my headband. So that's really the message I'm trying to pass across in this video but i just thought to also share the process of making the ashoki headband design okay so that if you also would like to add it to your own collection for your business or for yourself you have something to work with okay so i'm just creating my running stitches just like i'm doing on the screen just passing my needle and thread in and out and then when i got to the end of my fabric i secured my stitch this whole process is pretty you know it's something that we do regularly on this channel so if you're new here i suggest that you keep yourself up to speed with everything that i do on this channel by watching my for maybe all our designs playlist okay that way you know you basically catch up with everything that we are doing and then you become a full-blown gorgeous gorgeous girl and you know everything that we are doing on here on the channel all right so i'm just going to allow you guys watch me do my running stitch and then we'll move on to the next stage in this particular tutorial if you've not liked the video please now is a good time to hit the like button so i know you guys enjoyed watching Alright guys, so now that I'm done creating my running stitch, the next thing I'm going to do now, like I said earlier, is I'm going to secure my stitch. And now I folded the long strip of fabric that I used, that I gathered together basically. I folded it into two and this is me just sewing the two ends together i don't know how to explain it just watch the way i'm passing my needle so the reason why i'm doing this is because after attaching this design onto my wrapped plastic headband i don't want the center to just be open so i've gotten feedback from some of my clients saying that they prefer if the opening of the or the midpoint of this design is closed up they don't like the way it just opens up so I, I took note of that feedback and now this is me just closing up the center by creating little stitches in between to just seal up the mouth now we are going to move on to the beading and for the beading i usually work with something that we call stencils okay so these are my stencils and i just use the stencils to just create designs on my piece of fabric that i typically bead on to attach to my headband designs okay this piece of fabric is called felt i've gotten a couple of questions from us asking oh what's the name of that fabric what's the name of that fabric the fabric is called felt and you typically find it in your sewing accessories shop or your craft shop depending on where you are located okay in the us i believe you can find it on amazon in nigeria there are a couple of instagram vendors i can't really remember their names off the top of my head but i'll see if i can find them out on instagram for you guys and link them in the description bar and when you buy from them let them know that i'm the one that referred you to them so they also you know just know that i'm supporting their businesses okay so i'll try i can't really remember the name of the vendor that i bought this from but i'll try and get it for you guys and then drop it in the description so feel free to check out the description of this video anyway i'm basically just following this particular design on this particular stencil that i'm working on and then after creating these drawings on my piece of fabric i'm just going to use my scissors to just cut the designs that i've drawn out the work of your stencil is just basically to help you create designs while beading or creating any form of craft especially if you're not good with drawing people that are you know naturally gifted when it comes to fine art they might not necessarily need to work with stencils but for people like me okay i'm not really good with fine art okay so that's why i always find my stencils very very important when creating beading patterns okay and this is what the first piece that i cut out of this my fabric looks like so i'm just going to move through so I'm just going to move really, really quickly and cut out the remaining designs that I drew out on my piece of fabric and then we'll get straight into beading. All right, guys, so with one of the pieces of my stencil drawing that I cut out of my felt fabric, this is me just applying some 
cup chain onto the edge and this is just to add extra you know spice to the whole design feel free to do whatever you like with your design okay you can you remember that i've done a lot of beading pattern videos for you guys so if you've not watched those beading pattern videos now would be a good time for you to keep yourself up to speed with those beading pattern videos any of those beading patterns can be inculcated into any design that you decide to create while making your headband or any other form of you know accessory that you're making you can even use some of those beading patterns to create ear rings necklaces bracelets just go off okay so i'm going to create a separate playlist when it comes to my beading videos so you have just a one-stop place on this channel where you basically are able to watch all my beading tutorials okay i'll try and create that playlist hopefully today or before the end of this week so anyway back to the tutorial what i'm doing here is i'm sewing my cloth stone onto the center of one of the stencil pieces that i cut out of my fabric okay and this is what the cloth stone that i'm working with looks like okay there are different types of cloth stones for different types of projects okay so feel free to decide which type of cloth stone you want to use and in case you've not seen my video on beading accessories cloth stones gems beads and all of that i'm going to try and link that video in the description bar of this video again watch those videos okay when it comes to my tutorials i try to create a sequence while making videos okay so if you don't watch my previous video chances are you might not understand my latest video so that's why it's important to stay subscribed to this channel so you're up to speed with everything that we are doing on here so what i'm doing now is i'm basically just sewing on my cloth stone like so okay there's no way to explain it just watch the way i'm passing my needle and thread again i always like to encourage us to have our tools ready okay so that when i'm sharing videos like this you are able to just bring out your tools and also walk along with me while watching you know any one of the tutorials that i share on here on the channel again another thing you want to know is in my vlogs on this channel i share vendors and places where i buy stuff from so that's why it's important to also watch my vlogs apart from watching just my tutorials okay if you don't watch my vlogs chances are you might be wondering and asking some questions that i've answered previously on the channel okay like where i buy my accessories from where i buy this and that from so just watch my vlogs okay that's what i'm trying to say in this video so now it's time for us to get into beading and i'm using this my sand beads i'm picking up about seven pieces of sand beads okay and then i'm just passing it through my fabric for this portion of the video talking might not really do it so i won't be talking too much i'm going to allow you guys pay close attention i will just be talking when i need to explain what's going on occasionally so like i said i picked up about seven pieces of sand beads now i'm going to incorporate some crystal beads so i picked up three sand beads and then i put one crystal bead this crystal bead is size four and then i picked three more sand beads okay and then now i will now pass my needle and thread through my fabric i'm going to keep repeating that i'll do one line just plain sand beads and then another line sand beads and crystal beads and then like that like that like that till i get all around this my piece of fabric okay i hope it all makes sense if you don't understand just continue watching okay i tried my best to show you guys everything because i've, I've gotten a couple of feedback from some of us saying that i don't share enough so this is me trying my best to share okay the only thing you guys can use to reward me for all this information that i'm sharing is liking my videos and watching my videos and subscribing to my channel okay that way i know that you guys value the information that i share on here on the channel so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch the way i'm beading this entire piece of fabric and then later on if i need to explain something i'm going to come back to talk to us Alright guys, so after going around the fabric, this is what the end result was. You guys see that it's already coming together beautifully. Exactly. So now I'm going to keep creating this my running beading pattern, this overlapping beading pattern. I believe I've shared a beading pattern similar to this in one of my beading videos, okay? So yeah, I'm going to repeat that process until I cover every open space on this piece of fabric. I don't want to see the base fabric. I want the entire base fabric to be covered with beads, okay? So I'm just going to keep repeating that process until until everywhere on this particular piece of fabric is covered and right after doing that i'm going to move on to another piece of fabric that i cut out using my stencil and i'm going to create another beading pattern on that particular piece of fabric
all right guys so after doing everything this is what the end result of my bidding pattern looks like it looks absolutely stunning as you guys can see you guys don't feel pressured calm yourself down and try to make something really really neat okay you see that this looks absolutely beautiful and by the time you attach it to any form of design tell me how that design is not going to look breathtaking anyway on to the next bidding pattern so i have another piece of fabric that i cut out from that my stencil pattern that i worked on earlier and this time i'm working with seed beads this golden purpley seed beads okay i got it from charity those that watch my vlogs know which charity is okay all right so i got it from charity like i said and this time i'm incorporating sequins into the mix all right so i have three pieces of sand beads and then one sequence in between and then i added three more seed beads in between okay just in case i'm saying seed and sand bead please you guys just ignore me doing these voice notes is not easy it can be so you know exhausting sometimes so i catch myself you know saying the wrong things sometimes in the video so pay attention more than listening please watch what i'm doing okay so you don't get confused if i'm saying something else and i'm showing something else please follow what i'm showing as opposed to what i'm saying okay all right so now i repeated that same process like something similar to what i did previously so this time i'm just using sequence in place of using crystal beads like i did with the last um, pattern i used sequence this time so one line is just plain um sand beads and then the second line was a mixture of sand beads and um sequins okay <laughs> i hope it all makes sense so just watch me go i'm going to keep picking up my beads until i cover every area on this particular piece of fabric and then i'll move on to the next piece of fabric that i am planning to um bead on okay i want to bead every single stencil fabric or stencil cutouts that i did earlier i don't know i can feel myself losing my voice you guys please hit the like button because i'm trying so hard anyway i'm going to keep doing this over and over again till i cover all areas of this fabric and after doing that i'm going to show us and then i'm going to move on to the next piece of fabric i may not necessarily talk you through that process so please pay close attention look at where i'm combining my accessories my beads my sequins my crystal beads and all that and then replicate it on your own design you guys also saw that i applied some cup chain onto the edge of this um piece of fabric as well so feel free to do that if that's what you're interested in so now after doing all the beading here and there i couldn't show you guys everything i went ahead to also bead the joining of the ashoke design and the plastic headband okay i hope that makes sense so this is me just covering up the stitch you know by the time you attach the design on top of the plastic headband you might see some stitches here and there because fumbi is extra okay i'm very extra i don't want to see my hand stitch anywhere i want everything to just look i want the clients to see my work and be like ah, ah did she use a hand how did she how did she achieve this exactly that's the um impression i like to create when i when i make pieces for people okay so this is me just doing some bead work along the brim of the joining okay just to cover up my stitch and make everything look absolutely beautiful okay and now that i've done all of that for the front and the back of my headband now it's time for me to just attach the stencil pieces that i beaded earlier on like i said i didn't show all the you know i didn't show how i beaded every single piece of stencil fabric because this video would have been maybe one hour long and i know you guys don't have that patience okay so i went ahead to just um apply some hot glue onto the stencil design that i made and then i'm just applying those pieces of um beadwork onto my headband so this is how i typically do it most time if i don't have the time to be creating all this design um directly on the plastic headband what i do is i bead on fabric and i attach and i attach those bead work onto my plastic headband using glue okay and while gluing you want to keep your work very very neat make sure that your, your glue is not messy and then the clients can see glue stains all over their headband so you need to be very careful and try for this portion i suggest that you use a small size glue gun okay with big glue guns sometimes it can be very messy i like to use the big size glue gun when i'm making bridal hand fans or other types of diy projects that are in that category but when it comes to making plastic headbands for the sake of neatness and precision i like to use the small size glue gun i know different people have different methods when it comes to their um, business and how they like to do things i'm just sharing what i prefer 
in my own case okay so feel free to pick and choose what works for you all right so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys just see the way i'm placing my beadwork here and there to make sure that just to so the goal here is you want your end result to just look beautiful okay i cannot tell you how you want to layer up your design okay feel free to just decide for yourself look at the work which which um which pattern is the most aesthetically pleasing okay that's what you're going for something that when you're when the person you're making something for sees it they'll be like oh my god how like this is so gorgeous or even if you're making it for yourself whatever looks the most beautiful to you do it and i'm sure you guys will love the end result so this is the headband right after i applied all the stencil beaded pieces okay i hope <laughs> I hope you guys understand. So this is the end result. You guys see how beautiful it all looks. Like it all came together nicely. And the end result was just absolutely gorgeous. I didn't take pictures of my client after she wore this headband. And I'm so sad. Like I wish I took pictures so I could share with you guys. But you, you have to attest to the fact that this looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So if you did enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, please drop it in the comment section. Let me know your feedback. Do you want more? more tutorials similar to this let me know in the comments by just typing a comment in the comment section for me also if you're yet to subscribe i don't know what else you want me to say or i don't know really if this video does not convince you to subscribe and become a gorgeous gorgeous girl i don't know what else you want okay so please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you are interested and turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know anytime i put a tutorial i come on here with new designs and new tutorials every single week okay so you don't want to miss out on any of those and yeah guys don't forget to share with your friends okay share with people that you think would love something like this share with your friends your sisters your mommies your aunties your nieces people that you think would love something like this please share with them thank you guys again for watching thank you for the continued support from my for my new subscribers my existing subscribers thank you guys so much i do not take the love for granted at all and yeah guys i'm going to stop now thank you guys so much again for watching and i can't wait to see you in another video very very soon Bye bye